Yep. All right. Let's do this. Yep. And we're going ahead and go record. We're going to just be spontaneous like we always are. Spontaneous. So how are you guys doing? Yeah. yeah. We're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Luke. I'm Joe. I'm dead to the yeah. world. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead um, man walking. Yeah, no. Work's, work was tough a couple of days ago, so I'm just <laughs> I'm still feeling the soreness. We went ahead and we did a 1,600-piece truck with just five people. That's fun. Yeah. So, uh... What I mean by that is we threw the truck. We didn't even stock the fucking thing. So we pulled the merchandise off the truck, put it onto carts and skids. And I know there's at least one of our listeners out there who can who can relate to that. Somebody knows how that shit Yeah, goes. like, so it's really tough, especially when you're fat and out of shape like I am. Because <laughs> I'm not used to, I can work. I can still, you know, run stock with the best of, of our, our stockers. Stocking is definitely different from yeah, no, but, the truck. Yeah, no, but stocking is a lot different than, than yeah. sorting the truck. Yeah. And so, um, so I can still stock with the best of them, but when it comes to a truck, you know, I know that's a tough job, but I've done it before. But, you know, the fact that I hadn't done it in seven years and I just let myself get fat and lazy, you know, that kind of, <laughs> that kind of, it, ugh. I've got muscles that are sore that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> like that's, that's, that's the kind of condition I'm in right now. Like, like as I was walking back into this room, I had to go into another room and, and, uh, I, I'm just sitting there like I'm rubbing my arms mm-hmm. and it's just like. Oh, it hurts to do that. <laughs> it hurts to be alive. It, basically, yeah. Which I'm sure that's a lot something that a lot of people can also relate to. It hurts to be alive. Yes. All right, guys. So uh, we yeah. just had a major event happen in video games. It was and, E3. Yeah, I, I guess it's kind of important. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely gone downhill. Uh, when like we've we mentioned it the hell last year at this time, E3 when I was a kid. Was like, oh my god, I gotta get home from school. I gotta go. I gotta sit down in front of X Play, and I've got to watch all the E three coverage. I want to see everything. I want to see, you know, because uh, I mean, I know the end. There's gonna be that little teaser of oh Halo two or um, the next uh, fucking Mario or the next Zelda, whatever it is. Whatever they were working on that was yep. big that year. Yeah, like you had to get home. You had to see it. For me. Um, the first couple of E3s that were relevant to me, I had to read about an electronic gaming monthly. Mm-hmm. And then it was later on and uh, when we got more advanced cable boxes and digital cable and all that shit, we finally got G4. Yeah. I remember watching some of it on G4 on demand too because I couldn't watch it like while it was happening because I was in school. But I'd come home and I'd sit there on the weekends and my parent, my dad would be at work, my mom would be playing the video games. I'm like, fuck it, can I watch this? Yeah, sure, go for it. And I'd, I'd sit there and watch E3s oh, yeah. on G4. That was um, um, they. That was kind of like... That, that was back when before they Before they had embraced it, YouTube and streaming and anything, it, that it was, was how you had to get it, was to I mean, on-demand it. Yeah, not, not to mention that that was also before... Uh, that was back when it was still a press only event. Yeah. So you just like you or me. Like, I think it is still like a press only. Now no, it's no, gone sh- to press only again. Has it? I think. Well, I don't what think they've so. he, actually, it's funny that Tom Todd Howard actually made a joke about this, where he talked about he's been at every E three since the beginning or some shit like that, twenty years, and uh, he's like it had those odd times where like there was one time when E three there was almost nothing on the floor, everything was in back rooms. Yeah. Uh, and then just the floor would be almost the basic surface level shit. And then obviously it went through where it was like uh, open to the public and it was awful because it was nine hour lines and um, nothing just, but yeah, booth babes. Just to try the latest game. Yeah, just yeah. to just to even try the games for five minutes. And it was all booth babes and it was all garbage, basically. And then they've switched over now to where they still have some of that. But uh, the conference, the, the, the shows are the big thing. And they're actually, like, fun. Yeah, and yeah. it's more fun. Like, E for All was the thing where they tried to have all of the, uh, mm-hmm. like, open to the public, and that crashed and burned immediately. Because that was even more of the booth babes and more of the bullshit. I mean, that's what attracts, you know, they, they still think that sex sells. and it's in, There have yeah. been studies lately that have shown sex doesn't sell. Is sex will bring people in, but it doesn't sell your product. Right. Yeah, it'll get things noticed, but they only notice it because of the sex. So they like uh, like when there, there's a commercial that was shown in uh, Latin Americas where it was just some you know sexy Latina chick talking about Pepsi <laughs> and Pepsi. Uh, and that, that the problem Pepsi. with it is and this is it's actually the uh, the subject of a Gabriel Iglesias joke if you, yeah. if you, you know um, Fluffy made the joke you know and it's just a bunch of sex yeah and Pepsi's mentioned at the end of the commercial. Mm-hmm. So you, you don't, but you don't remember what the commercial was about because of the sexy Latina chick. You don't fucking remember, you know. I still remember the uh, Super Bowl commercial 
from a few years ago that it, it, everyone talked about because commercial was funny. No one could remember what the product, what the, what it was for, and it was these cops come up to a car that's shaking, all fogged up windows. You hear people moaning. Right. They tap on the window, and these two guys they roll down the window and they're eating subs. And it's apparently it was like a Subway or a Quiznos. I didn't even know if it was Subway or Quiznos. Honestly, but it was their commercial. No one remembers who it was for. All they remember is that oh yeah, they're fucking in the car. Oh wait, no, haha, it's funny. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no. And then Hardee's did that. Ugh, Hardee's had that fucking crazy ass commercial where uh, I think it was Jessica Simpson eating a burger on the hood of a car. What about the Skittles commercials where the newlyweds are fucking and throwing Skittles all over each other? It was I a banned commercial in America because, of course, we're prudes and we can't handle yeah, we sex. We can't handle that. Yeah, but uh, that's so funny. You know the Taste of Rainbow campaign they did yeah. in other countries, where it's like you had a, a couple doing suggestive things, like the cam- they're off camera or whatever, and uh, turns out they're just eating Skittles. Yeah, <laughs> just eating Skittles. And uh, but there was one commercial where it was implied the guy comes Skittles because she just starts. Getting... <laughs> I remember that one. I remember that. Yeah, one. she just starts getting Skittles thrown <laughs> onto her face, and it's like, oh, okay, that's that's what that is. So yeah, we were going to talk about video games. So, no, I mean, we. Th- this is tangentially related. Come on now. Shit. <laughs> but, um. We were talking about, you know, advertising and sex and all that. Yeah. Well, E3 but, this um, year. E3, yeah. No. You didn't, you didn't watch anything but. I, no, see, okay, guys. I'm, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I actually forgot E3 was happening this <laughs> year. And it sucks because I was off all the way up until, like, the third day of E3. Or yeah. the fourth day of E3, so I could have watched it. But I kind of forgot E3 was even happening until um, morning of the 12th, which was Nintendo's Treehouse Direct. Mm-hmm. Someone, it was, like, around 5 in the morning that someone remind uh, that I saw on Twitter that E3 was happening for Nintendo. I'm like, oh, fuck, E3 is this week. Mm-hmm. And so, um, so I haven't watched anything but Nintendo's e3 presentation and a um, couple trailers and a couple trailers yeah uh so i'm not quite as equipped this year as i was last year my bad i mean I, i'll be honest so i watched the i didn't watch them live i i ended up working every night they were on but i watched um the ea press conference i think i watched most of it i might have fallen asleep because it was that boring um because i don't give a fuck about sports video games and 90 percent of it was sports games microsoft cringy uh, it was cringy. Bethesda's, which was really, really cringy. Uh, Sony's. Um, t- 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 who else did I see? I, I mean, that doesn't. Yeah, Nintendo's, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, Square. Yeah. Square. Yeah. And then obviously the Nintendo Direct. Um, and the Nintendo wow. Treehouse. Whatever. Treehouse, whatever they called it. Yeah. Whatever they wanted to call it. It was their E3 press conference without the press. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Which mean, is, uh, honestly, that's a great way to do it. The only one I really want to see that I didn't watch yet is Devolver Digital, because I heard it's short and sweet, and they're always funny. I mean, I, I know I know, I love the last one. The, the last year's was amazing. Where they just shit on everyone else's E3 press conference. And that lady just having a fucking heart attack. Mm-hmm. She's know. just, every time she gets on the stage, is worse and worse. It's Which just, there were a few people that were on the stage at the different press conferences that looked as bad. <laughs> Except her was looking as bad was on purpose. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh and, and the last one where she was on coke, basically. Yeah, she, I, when she, she just got progressively worse, and her nose started. His to bleed. nose was bleeding. She's oh, well, that was that was. That's why I got to check out Devolver Digitals. Yeah, no, that I, I have to agree that that one uh, that one was really really good. You know what's funny is. Um, a press conference that, as far as content goes, didn't it wasn't it didn't impress me that much. Right. But I liked the press conference because they didn't have as much bullshit. Was Microsoft's? They did a little talky at the beginning, but for the most part, it was pretty much trailer after like get trailer after trailer after trailer. Which some of these press conferences, like Sony's, just did a bunch of bullshit between them. Sony did this really fucking weird thing where they decided to have an event. So the people, the press was in one viewing area where they showed The Last of Us, which they had like 15 minutes of a guy playing a banjo, which was so fucking cringy and boring. And then they showed The Last of Us uh, stuff, which it's The Last of Us 2. It looks fucking beautiful. 
Yeah, right, right um, of course. I mean, that's and just then, how it works. And then, like, a 15 or 20 minute intervent, er, uh, intermission because they had to move everyone to the actual press conference area. Which, you know, that. Which that, was like, what are you doing? That's retarded. Why yeah. are you doing that? Well, and while that's going on, they had like four people talking about a bunch of useless bullshit. I think they showed like one trailer, which was for fucking Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So no one gives, or four, or whatever the fuck the next garbage ass Black Ops game is. And nobody gives a fuck about that. It was oh my god, it was so boring. Yeah, I mean, I can I can only imagine. Like like yeah. I said, I mean, I I was dumb and forgot about oh it this my year. God. Thankfully, after that, they kicked it in and showed game after game, which was it ended up being really really good. And their conferences, uh, as far as games that I want to play, theirs was one of the better ones. Right. I mean. Like I said, I only watch Nintendo, so yeah. Nintendo talked about the one thing all of us want. Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Like the first half hour of that direct was nothing but Smash Bros. Right. Well, they it wasn't the first. It was like the second. It was the ending, wasn't it? Like well, whatever it was, it, it was I mean, the majority no, no, of because, the direct. No, because like the first ten or fifteen minutes was a bunch of game releases. Yeah, and then the next twenty five minutes was Smash Bros. And then from there they focused on uh, Splatoon and shit like that. Okay, it was like fifteen minutes of more bullshit. Yeah, no, I mean, it was it, there was more to it than just that. Yeah, so, I stopped yeah. watching after the Smash Bros. <laughs> Plus, I had to leave to get over here. But uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it was an R eighty three, I guess. It wasn't wasn't anything that amazing. Um, but for stuff that's coming out that I personally, I'm excited for, uh, I don't know if you got to see some all of these trailers, but Spider-Man, oh my God, that game looks so cool. It's, uh, it's, it's the, it, it looks like everything you I've wanted out of a Spider-Man game since um, Spider-Man 2. Right. I think I played that on the fucking GameCube. Um, it just looks fun. The web slinging looks awesome. That game's just... I think that game's gorgeous looking. That's going to be a whole hell of a lot of fun. I mean, dude, yeah, I got to say the last trailer I saw, because I did see that trailer, and um, I mean, the last trailer I saw was, look, was looking really good too, but this yeah. one, oh man, it looks so much more defined. Everything is just... You know, like you said, it's pr- it's br- it's pretty and it's, it's gorgeous. bright. It looks like a comic book. It's it bright lo- and colorful. It, it's it exa- Spider Man. That's perfectly. exactly what it's supposed to be, too. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's where it needs to be. And the fact that like the web slinging, the actual fighting, the actual gameplay mm-hmm. they showed looks fluid as hell. Spider Man moves so quick uh-huh. and so agile and everything. It's perfect for Spider Man. And graphic. Granted, there's some. Uh, quick time events, which I think would be necessary for a character like Spider Man. Like it you fits. can't, yeah, you can't. You, I don't think you could pull off like an instant dodge or something, or a Spidey sense dodge, unless it, it's a quick time event type of deal. So I mean, I, I actually think that this is one of those few times where like I'm okay with this being a, yeah. a QTE because I mean, quick time events and a lot of games do annoy the shit out of me when they feel overused and stressed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I think. That that's a good way to get you into a chase scene, though. Right, that's it's true. one of the best uses of quick time events. And when you're swinging, like like in the original gameplay they showed, like last year, yeah, where he's chasing the helicopter and stuff, that looks really interesting. Um, in this one, when he's fucking fighting Rhino and uh, who, uh, the Shocker, yeah, yeah, Shocker. Yeah. I mean, when they show up, Rhino, Shocker, the Vulture, um. Uh, Scorpion. Basically, all the movie villains uh, that well, we just had. <laughs> so, yeah, they're in the movies, but they're not the movie villains. These are the well, I know comic book. The... These look good. This they... Look, they, they act the way they should. <laughs> they are the way they were meant to be. Yeah, oh yeah. They they talk and look like they should out. came right out of the comic books right. or the cartoons, whichever you had. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm super, super inter- uh, like excited for that game. And it's coming out like really soon. Uh, yeah, isn't it like uh, end September? Of the year? September seventh. Yeah, it's real close, basically. Oh yeah. Which I mean, I guess that would make. I mean, uh, that would explain why what they showed looks so far along. They're they're it's basically probably, done. Yeah, it's yeah. probably going to be gold in the next couple months. And it's just it, they they they're probably in a phase where they're just squashing bugs and they're just you know fixing this broken mechanic mm-hmm. or that, making sure things are functional at this. point. So I mean, and like I said, I mean. Like that. This is one. This is another one of those games. At least it looks like it's going to be another one of those games that go on a list um, of of reasons I would buy a PS4. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's uh. We've only kind of barely touched on it. Um. 
Uh, even with what's coming out, right. there's not really. I still don't see a reason to buy an Xbox One. I mean, like if you don't already, have I, I tell one, you what. Um, if you're if you're a multi type player or a multi platform player, fuck PlayStation. No, 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 no. It, well, okay. If you want to play online games with other people, sure. If you want to play games that come out m- on multiple platforms. No, no, still go with the PlayStation. It's you much better bet. Unless you are a Fortnite player. Un- well, unless you want to play Fortnite on your Switch and your PS4. Uh, yeah, no, you can't do that because at all. Because you can't. Yeah. yeah. I mean, th- there's shitty stuff Sony has done, but as far as value of a console and the amount of games you're going to get, 100%, you're going to get a PS4 or an Xbox One every single time. Right. Well, like Unless you have that one specific use case. Where, then you just create it, a new you wanna, account on... Uh, yeah, but that's a shitty thing. You know? I mean, it's Especially really, if you have an, an Epic account that you yeah. put so much time and, and actual money into, and now all of a sudden you can't use it. Yeah. Like, come on. That's that 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 that's a huge mark against Sony for me. But if, you're, if you are a, a multiplayer game like that yeah get yourself an xbox one because you can play other games with other people you can play switch you can play rocket league you can play minecraft you can play you know um uh the game we just mentioned fortnite with other people yeah. but I, I i gotta say when it comes to the exclusive games ps4 is absolutely killing it over yeah. xbox one like i said i mean like a bloodborne is a game i would buy a yeah. uh, ps4 for horizon zero dawn because i really would like to play that one day mm-hmm. and of course like i said the spider-man game the, the spider-man looks so good yeah so i mean that would be the only reason why i'd be up I'd, I'd buy um that but I would never buy an Xbox One yeah. because I've already got a gaming PC. So the games yeah, I just that's, mentioned, that's I can already reason. play with you guys. Exactly. So, exactly. I mean, it doesn't matter. So if you're sitting there on your Xbox, we could fire up a game of Rocket League. Although you also have a PC, so we wouldn't play it that and way. The but Switch. if you were already feeling lazy, fuck it. Yeah, oh yeah. That's, I have Rocket League on all three. Well, actually, I didn't buy it on the Xbox One. I have it on Switch. I have it on PC. Yep. I don't know why I bought it on the Switch. I fired it up once. Yeah. Just because it's <laughs> just because it's there. Just a dick with it. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. all it was. I honestly I you know, I made a bigger deal about that before with the cross online play with Microsoft. Um I don't think it's going to be a big thing. Because um, it's it, it, like on Fortnite's the only game that seems yeah, but like here, it matters. Here's the thing though. A it's growing. If it does grow, no, 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 no. if it does I mean, grow, right there now there are more games that are announcing cross-platform play. Minecraft is a big one. Rocket League was one of the first, and the fact that it's also possible, which Rocket League showed us, um, and then Fortnite. Fortnite right now, you got to remember, is one of the biggest games on the. No, planet. no, I get that, and I, I personally think, and it, it's, however, I don't think the cross-platform play on Fortnite is over everything. Yet. It is. You can, to actually play against people? Yes. You okay. can play, like if you're playing on mobile, you can play against PC players. If you're yeah, playing on Switch. Garbage. <laughs> if you're playing on Switch, you can play with Xbox players. Yeah. Like PS4 is the only one where it Sony's the only Sony's the only one not cooperating, but to yeah. take that step further, and if your Epic account's tied to a PS4 or a PSN account, you can no longer use it on any of the other platforms. Yeah. And vice versa is true. If you sign up let's say Switch is the first time you're playing Fortnite. Which for you me can't it switch is. It over to the PS4 yeah, yet. you can't take that same account and bring it on Which over. Does suck. I mean, I think. I, I think and, it's and, because I just don't care about any of those games. I, I feel you, but here's the thing. Here, here's what I feel because they're they're doing this and they're being this shitty. I do think that while Sony is on top right now, I think this is going to be that little tiny snowball that starts to slowly roll. And that might knock them out of first place. Mm. It, it, I, it's going to be a very slow thing, but I think this is one of the first nails in their coffin, if, if you would let me use that. Um, not a big nail. It's like a starter nail that's going to be there for bigger nails. I, I, I think that's a thing. That's a huge thing, though, just because of, A, how popular Fortnite is, and, B, the fact that cross-platform play, the fact that Nintendo yeah. of all companies is like, yeah, sure. I would say I would agree that that would be a nail if we were closer to the next gen. If the next gen they were making that a big deal already, but right now as it stands, I don't see that being a big issue. Right. Unless like uh, unless the Call of Duty and some of these other bigger uh, other shooters right. if they all start going, "Hey, cross play with all of the PC to Xbox, uh, to switch unless they get behind that as well that's when it becomes an issue right now it's uh, I, I, the fortnite's I, big 
But people that play Fortnite are already playing it on the system they're going to play it on. Yeah, like sort of. Like but I mean, I I think the fact that um, I think it's shitty. That, right. But there's a, if you're the the general, and I don't, and you know, it, it I, I'm being a dick here, but I mean, if you're the general age, uh, like young age group that's playing Fortnite that extensively and giving them that much money, you're not switching over to the Switch. Uh, you might though. It, the, it's it's may, a maybe thing. Well, see, that's the thing. That that's where the the Epic account and the portability yeah. come into play. Let's say you're a PC player or you're an Xbox player. You can sign into the same account here, have all your shit. Oh, I get that, and, and that's I, cool. I think that's, I just don't think people are going to be doing that in in enough that it's going to the numbers will matter. That that's going to be such a teeny tiny point zero 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 percentage of well, people that, that get angry. But about that's it. why I'm just saying, like, this is that yeah. that snowball. Yeah, I I could only see that if the next generation becomes a big deal of hey, we're all working together. And the fact that I mean, and and like I said, it's it's Nintendo. And it's the fact that Fortnite's so big, and then Nintendo's open to it. Nintendo has Minecraft on here, and you can play with Switch play. You can play with I, like, Xbox. Every time you say Minecraft, I die a little inside. <laughs> I you just know what? Don't I'm going to make a note to say anymore. more, say Minecraft more times now. <laughs> uh, but no, I, okay, like, regardless why? of how Do you feel still about play it, that? yes, it's horrible. Oh my god, why? it's amazingly like it's 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 mind boggling me how many uh, people still play it who every, aren't who I aren't thought, autistic, okay. which I'm not. I'm not like banging, you know, yeah. like ragging on autistic people. It's a very good game for that. Yeah, but autistic people, kids, like it's a surprising number of people who are our age who yeah. are still playing still, this game. What I'm, what I'm wondering though is, okay, it's already on the Switch, right? Like they, Minecraft was released way early in the Switch's uh, life. Right? I, I don't know if it's released yet, actually. Because I swear to God, I could have swore that Minecraft was on there, I and then I keep seeing trailers for Minecraft. Month. Hold up, um, let's does it come out later? Right okay. Because I sw- yeah. I could have swore Minecraft was I know on the on Switch 3DS. within like a couple months. It's on 3DS. Uh, maybe that's what I thought. Yeah. Either way, um, yeah. I mean, I I think we'll see. That that'll that'll be. That'll be something we see later on. The problem right now is Microsoft has fuck all. They have Forza yeah, and they I mean, have some uh, smaller developer titles. Which I'm not even I'm not even impressed with Forza this no. Like uh-uh. Forza uh, is it For, Forza Horizon is is yeah Minecraft releases on the twentieth. Okay. Um, Don't get me wrong, it looks beautiful, but I mean unless you are that big into racing games and the car games. Which, uh, I mean, I, I am. I like the realistic sims, and I like the arcade games. So I love the need for speeds, and I love our Forzas. I love our Gran Turismos. Yeah. But this one this one just doesn't catch my eye. And no. the fact that they've turned it into a loot box simulator, it, like, like it's all pay to win, it it's feels stupid. like. Like, Crackdown is one of the only games I'm looking forward to on there. Um, and you know what? I, 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 there, there, there has been no game that has released on Xbox One that I've been truly like, hey, maybe I'll buy an Xbox for that. So, I, I mean, that argument, like yeah. I said, unless you're a big Fortnite player or you're a big multi-platform player, the Xbox One's not worth it. No, not at all. Um, I mean, again, the only reason you would buy it for multi-platform is if you were playing those specifically against other people. Right. Otherwise, I mean, you've yeah, got a PS4 and you like can play you wanna, all of yeah. those games. Or a PC wanna... and you can really play all of those games. Yeah, I think they're trying to sell their console right now on the uh, what is that service? The um, the, the uh, oh yeah the um, uh, Game Pass Game Pass, which is an interesting service. Um, the fact that they are making an effort that it seems like all of their in house titles come to Game Pass within like a week of release. I is, think Sea of Thieves was is a like, smart idea. Before it even released, the only way to play it was to have Game Pass. Yeah, something like that. But yeah. I know they announced uh, a couple more games that are their exclusives are coming to Game Pass first. Um, I mean, that might be the only way they're going to sell their console for a while. I mean, I don't, I don't care about Game Pass. No, I, like, I, I really I think don't. It's, if I hadn't played like sixty percent of those games already, yeah, and owned most of those games already, then I might be like, hey, Game Pass, that's great. I, I mean, can I, play I mean, these games of Sony's version of that. I actually thought about getting. Yeah. Because there were a lot of older games that I never got to play. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I I, I, I'd, I'd, I, think I'd ultimately end up playing just Bloodborne on it. And yeah. And it would be like, eh, I just... It's this kind of thing where you'd I, I would get it and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play like the Streets of Rage arcade pack. I'd play it one time and then never touch it again and Game Pass would just sit there charging me monthly for no reason. And like another reason why I don't buy a PS4 is... It would just be a game machine. I wouldn't use it for entertainment. I already have 
all that set up. I, oh, t- yeah. I have that taken care of. And so it's like, it's the same thing with an Xbox One. Like, I just, I, there's nothing on there that would compel me to do it. PS4, there's a few games, but it's like. Honestly, PS4, is it, is it, I, mine sat on my shelf for a very long time. Right. Even though, but um, there's mm-hmm. enough games on there that it would easily sell me a console now. Between God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, Bloodborne, um, the um, fucking the game where you, Gravity Rush. Um, I, I can have that on my Vita. Yeah, well, you can have the first one, the Vita. The second right. one's only a PS4. Yeah, but I don't care but, enough uh, about it either. I mean, so. there's, there's, yeah, well, there's other, there's a lot of other games. Obviously, any Japanese RPG, if you're a fan of those, they're on, either they're on the PS4 or some of them are on the Switch. It's like there's. There's a hell of a lot to play on the PS4. The problem is there's a hell of a lot more to play on the PC. Yeah. And, and I've got 250 games on Steam I haven't touched. Yeah, see, that's my thing. Like, for one, <laughs> I already have a large-ass backlog. Yeah. For two, I'm more obsessed with my Switch than I am any other game console I own. Um, three, I got a new feature on my 3DS where I can play some Nintendo DS games from my SD card, so that's kind of cool. And four... Like aside from the video games, an a-, a PS4 doesn't bring me in any added value, mm. except I guess I could start renting Blu-rays and playing them back. Yeah, I haven't. Done, I don't touch any of that. My See, PS4 has just played God of War, and it'll <laughs> go back a God to of Blood War Machine. War. Yeah, which is all I, honestly for whatever I paid for it. That's an awesome. That's an awesome price for a God of War Machine because that game is so fantastic. Yeah, no, I, I that that is another game I'd buy it for. That's all, that that's yeah. that list of four games. Uh, you got Bloodborne, the Horizon sellers. Zero Dawn, yeah. And Nintendo has console sellers. Oh, PS4 absolutely. has console sellers. I mean, you got Breath of the Wild. Xbox One doesn't have console sellers. Breath, you got Breath of the Wild on Switch. Mm-hmm. You got Super Mario Odyssey on Switch. You know, like, and then when you get the Switch, and then even the remakes of the Wii U games, they might as well be new games because no one played them on the fucking Wii U. Four million people might have <laughs> played them. I know I didn't. My Wii U sat there collecting dust. And it's still in a bag in the trunk of my car. I, you know, I didn't see it in the trunk of your car, so it might be in the back seat of your car. Well, whatever, yeah. It, but the point is, it's just sitting there. Yeah, it's just sitting there, and it has... It's just, okay, let's get back on topic here. We just Yeah, but Smash Brothers, I think yeah. okay, that guys, they Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say the rest of this episode will probably be Smash Brothers. I'm sure I'll go back to that list of games, because there's some other ones I wanted to talk about. Specifically new games. Actually, let's do that first. Then okay. we can talk Smash Brothers on the end. Um, there's a new FromSoft game called Sekiro, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Sekiro I'm... Shadows Die Twice. It looks like a more Japanese-themed, um, maybe, I think a less skill-based, more action-based kind of Dark Souls. Well, it, well, the comment that I made when we were watching the trailer is it looks like Neo on steroids. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely got Neo's... Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, like, it's Japanese. It's, it's FromSoft's version of Neo, which Neo was... That company's Japanese version of Dark Souls. Right. So, I mean, there you go. It's Neo done right. Yeah. Which oh, Neo's a good game, too. Neo's a great game. Yeah, it's one of those games on my wish list that pops up on sale every now and then. I yeah. go, I should buy that. But I probably won't play it because I've got Hollow Knight on Switch now. Yeah. That's another game I have on the PS4 I need to play. Yeah. Because I didn't realize it was not gonna. It was going to come to PC in a few fucking months. Or I would have just waited and bought it on PC. Yeah, yeah. But, especially you know, when you get, all the, you, you get the complete edition for 50 bucks. Exactly. So, I mean, it's like, oh, God, I'm mad about that. If it yeah. goes on sale, I'll buy it on PC again. Because <clears throat> I'm fucking I know poor like that. This past week it was on sale for $30, and I was so close. I yeah. was so close to buying it. It is, it is but then fucking I chose to buy that, bacon. Instead. It is that bacon is good though. Yeah. It is hard like a Dark Souls game though. I will say that it's it's difficulty I, and, curve is and I gotta say ridiculous. like like I don't care for Dark Souls itself. Not mm-hmm. because I have anything against Dark Souls because I was never a Demon Souls fan. Mm. But I am a fan of Souls like games. I yeah. I am a fan of those games where they're difficult and there is that learning curve. Mm-hmm. You got to learn to dodge and shit. Like uh, one game that Souls like that I love the shit out of, but it's only two D instead of three D is. Uh, um, Dead Cells. Dead Cells is a soul-like Metroidvania that's 2D, and yeah. it's so fucking addictive. That's one of those games where I put 40, 46 hours in, mm-hmm. lost my save file, and I've put another 30 hours into the game. <laughs> so it's, it's like, that, that's how good it is. Yeah, yeah. This one looks... Honestly, I made the comment that it looks a little bit closer to, um, like, Ninja Gaiden. Right. Where Which it does. It, it, does it look looks very... a little bit faster-paced, where you're moving around more... 
than uh, you would in Bloodborne or Dark Souls. Yeah, it, Plus, it you've feels... got like a grapple hook arm, a, a, a mechanical arm that does a bunch of cool shit. Like Bionic Commando with a samurai sword. Fuck yes. Dude, yeah, and it's 3D. Yeah, oh yeah. 3D it looks Bionic great. Commando with a samurai sword. You know, like, dude, yeah, it looks, it does look good. And I mean, it was, it was really, it really interested me more than the Resident Evil 2, um, which does look really good, though. I, you know, the Resident Evil 2, uh, like, I was, someone was telling me about it, and I immediately was thinking, like, the Resident Evil remake that came on the GameCube. Absolutely gorgeous looking game, had the old camera, the old gameplay. I, I played it. I didn't really care for it that much. I, I could, I played it then and liked it. I could not see myself suffering through it now. However, from gameplay footage, it looks more like um, a Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil 5 style game where you're yeah. able to aim and shoot and not Don't compare garbage to Resident ways. Evil 5. I'm just saying, control-wise, that game was fine. It was everything else that made that game shit. And the, then we're not talking about the one that oh came God, after. Oh, God, no. It no, was that, even worse. That didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, which is interesting that they I thought they would continue with Resident Evil 7. I thought they would make more first person like s- old school horror. Uh, I I'm, I'm really glad. But I'm glad they went back to this. Yeah, no. I, I, like Resident Evil 7 looks looks it looks really good. It's a really great game. And it's one of those things that's on my list to buy mm. and, and this backlog of mine just Oh my keeps god, growing. it's amazing. And it keeps getting worse cuz games that I want on other platforms, I I it, 7's going to be coming to the Switch, but you have to stream it. And I think it's only going to be in Japan, though, isn't it? No, no, no. It's coming to the United States. I'm good. I can see it. I'll just buy it on PC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's much better. It's like I, I can I, either pay $30 I understand why they would to do be that. connected to Wi-Fi all the time and can, and stream over my Switch, or I can pony up an extra 20 or 30 bucks and just have the game. Wait for the next Steam sale. I'm sure it'll go. Yeah. And, and you'll probably then. get the DLC with it, too. Oh, yeah. One yeah. of the DLCs was free. Well, there you go. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm excited for that. It looks gorgeous. Uh, some it doesn't look like a, it was made today. It doesn't look like a brand new, brand new game, but it still looks good. Oh no, it looks I mean, great. It looks better than last gen, not quite yeah. up to current gen, I guess. But it's it's somewhere in between, yeah. which is not a knock against it. Like it no. still looks gorgeous. I mean, I I, I think it's going to be interesting, but I I'm still looking more forward to the 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 Samurai Souls game we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, that right game now. looks good. Um, another samurai looking game. Ghosts, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Sounds about right. Yeah, I don't remember. It was shown. It's it was the second big game Sony showed right after. And I mean, the fact that it came after um, the Last of Us two, right. and still had people going, "Holy shit, this looks amazing." That says something. Oh yeah, because I mean, Last of Us two is obviously one of Sony's biggest. Yeah, games. it's it's the big. That's like that is their big thing. Like that is their Super Mario Odyssey or Breath it's of their Wild. Halo. It's their yeah. It's their yeah. big thing. And this game came after it and was like, legitimately looks great. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and again with everything that you see at E three, don't believe their lies. It's probably bullshit. But this game, if that is gameplay, it looks smooth. It looked gorgeous. And it looks like a uh, like a slower um, sword fighting game that's just I don't know it, it to me it looked awesome right I love the fucking style of it um, it looks like a you're playing a real close samurai game right which I mean I'm down for yeah yeah, yeah. I mean it it definitely looked kind of cool mm. um, all right so let's go ahead and move on yeah uh, other than that I mean cyberpunk oh my god I can't <sighs> wait for that game. I love the memes that are already coming out about that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I posted one in our Discord chat earlier. Uh, <laughs> the it, was, car. <laughs> Cyber, it, it, it was titled Cyber Roach 2077, and it yes. had the guy from the trailer's face superimposed over Geralt looking up at his car on the roof of the house in the same style as that image <laughs> that we see of Roach doing the same thing. <laughs> it's like... That is hilarious, and that'll um, I'll put that up on the website so you guys can see that too, in case you ha- you don't see it by the time this releases. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, yeah, I laughed at that so much, and that looks really good. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I mean, that was I don't uh, know, I don't know if they showed anything gameplay wise. I don't, I don't need I, it. I don't right know. now. I was just happy with that trailer. I mean, the fact that a CD Projekt Red, yeah, like dude, they could release Pong. And I'd fucking buy it. Yeah. It, just release a Witcher 3's themed Pong. It's I'd like, fucking buy it's it. It's like Rockstar when they released uh, the table tennis game. 
that fucking I can't even remember the name of it, but they released back after GTA Four. Yeah, they released a uh, a fucking ping pong game, and it was a, the best ping pong game ever. It was great, and it was like, Rock, what the fuck are you doing, Rockstar? Okay, I guess here's they, my money. They are doing whatever the fuck they want. Exactly. exactly. I mean, I mean, we've said it before the the perfection that they achieve in a lot of their games, mm -hmm. where GTA Five might have its bugs, might have its problems, and they might only be focusing on GTA Online, but in that inside that massive game, they've built some amazing shit. They've mm -hmm. bet they've built the best golfing game I've ever fucking played. They built the best golfing game inside their game. Like they built an amazing tennis game. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it's like you know the stupid the stupid uh, mission where you have to play as Michael and you're running with the old lady or whatever. You're oh my to... god, that the best <laughs> track and field game. There you go. I mean, come on, dude. That and you know for them they took the fuck we're off on another tangent but they took that game and then went hey you guys want to play it first person here you go play it first person we don't fucking care we're rock star we do whatever the fuck we want so yeah and I, then you play that game first person and it works and it was awesome it was it's fun it's yeah. great and you know it's it's interesting firing a rocket from your perspective <laughs> yeah oh my god it was it was it was almost. Um, it was one of those like uncanny valley type things where you do a lot of things in GTA that in third person you just do and you blow like you blow away cops and blow away cars and right, stuff. Right, whatever. It and like everybody does that thing where they find a spot and go, I'm just gonna wipe out anything that moves and comes in this area. And then you just start tormenting everyone. And then you do that in first person and it's like, oh, Oh, this feels different. <laughs> maybe you know, I won't shoot that old lady across the street with a sniper rifle. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, maybe maybe I won't fire this rocket into uh, into oncoming traffic. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. like, eh, and then you do it anyway, and she's still playing Grand Theft Auto. I mean, I did that shit in Skyrim every now and then after you get an overpowered character. Oh yeah, so decide you... I'm gonna wipe out White Run. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, you know what? I think I'm gonna go kill Morthal today. So you just save the game, and then you go in and kill everybody. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody who's killable. <laughs> oh. Do you get to the cloud district? And, no, you die. Oh, uh, him I always kill. Yeah. In fact, there's a mod that you can install that just makes him killable without being incurring a bounty. So it's like, <laughs> fuck you. I love the mods that do that and the mods that kill the uh, the dude who's preaching. Oh, he's all right. Hey, well, he didn't bother me, but there are mods where you pull a lever and he falls on spikes or the statue will fall on it. Just crazy shit like that. I, I can't you see. See, when I play that game, I role play. And if I role play yep. my the Twitter role play character I've mentioned before, they're friends, so I can't kill him. They're yeah. buddies. Yeah, they're buddies. Like, he's buddies. Like, yeah. so I can't I can't be mad at him too much. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna spend the next twenty minutes talking about Smash Bros. I think going to Smash. I'm I just sorry. gotta say Metro. Fuck yes. Dying Light Two. Fuck yeah, yes. Yeah. All these. Th there's a lot of other good I, games there. I still gotta Check play out. the Metro games. Those are on my to playlist. So it's like holy shit, dude. Gears was such a letdown. Anthem was let down. Oh, right, real quick, the fucking Halo Infinite or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I think it was Infinite. Halo Infinite stuff. What they showed was not any type of in game. It was tech demo for their um, new engine. So everything you saw was just. They, they, I mean, it was Halo looking assets, but it was just tech demo shit. <laughs> I was laughing so hard when I read that. So Waluigi's not in Smash. Yeah, you fuckers. How dare you? How fucking just dare you? Waluigi and Smash. Like, okay, everyone gets mad about Waluigi. I'm, I'm not happy that Waluigi is in Smash, but the fact that I saw Mega Man in there and then realized he was an assist trophy, or not Mega, I'm sorry, Mega Man's in it. Awesome. Bomberman. I was like, oh, fucking Bomberman, and then it was yeah, the assist the way, trophy montage, and I was like, you yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, the way they're doing it, you're sitting there going, oh shit, Bomberman's Yeah, because he's he, running around. He's, he pops up on screen, he's throwing bombs, and it's like, oh yeah, he's just an assist trophy. Like, you you sons, sons of fucking bitches. How fucking dare you? Yeah, because I would really, oh, I love, I would love to have Bomberman as a character. That would be cool. So cool. I mean, like, he doesn't need to do much. He could be a Mega Man clone. Fuck it. No, he doesn't even need to be a clone. He could be, may, he'd be interesting as fuck man. he'd be his own, he could definitely be his own character yeah his specials could be like his different ab the abilities the roller skates the speed ups right right he'd be able to kick his uh he he would be awesome but fine no mega man or no bomber man no bomber man they brought back every character who's been playable in the other games i mean yeah the fact that you know when they started solid snake i'm like oh shit they're bringing back snake yeah oh shit they're bringing back cloud oh shit bayonetta oh my god all the characters yeah so okay there's one thing about this i think that this started out as a port. 
I think it might be the base of this is a port of the Wii U game. I want to say I want to say yes. It looks better, but very. I want to say only no though because of how many engine changes there's been too. For something like that, they yeah. would have to rebuild from the ground up because of all like. They they mentioned in the interview specifically there's been tens of thousands of changes. Yeah. And one of the things that they were talking about during the presentation is how they've brought back some things from uh from like melee and stuff that wouldn't have been possible in the in the Wii U engine. Well, I know they brought back like the aerial dashes. Aerial dashes and they brought back wave dashing, yeah. they brought back uh all sorts of stuff like that, which mm-hmm. weren't possible in the Wii U ports. Yeah. And to add those mechanics in would break other things. So it would make it would be no surprise to me if they just said fuck it and rebuilt it from the ground up. Which, by the way, they have stated in uh, interviews after the the presentation. Did that they state it, that? Yeah, now? it okay. was. You know, this is a brand new game because it they looks, might be. It, it might be very close. They might have taken assets and just upgraded them. It's but as far as the actual characters. game goes. Yeah, no, it's a it's a brand new engine, it's a brand yeah. new everything built for this game for yeah. this thing. Um, but if you look at some of the, I, I mean, I feel you on that. But if you look at some of the stages side by side from the Wii U and the Switch, they're a night and day difference. Oh no, I'm not saying that the uh, there it looks uh, quite a bit different. But I mean, there's a lot of it that's very similar graphically. It's it's there's a lot more. Uh, I just realized I don't have my headphones on. Yeah. So if Not my audio hasn't been working this whole time, you're no, fucked. you're totally fine. Like oh, I can I see it up here. So. Um, but I was gonna say, like, to it looks like there's a lot more to it, yeah. and a lot more depth <clears throat> and stuff. Um, it's just it, it definitely kept that um, similar look. For for me though, like the game looks amazing, and no yeah. matter what it ends up, I'm being, very happy with it. Yeah. Don't get me no wrong. matter what don't, it ends don't up, don't take it as I'm being negative. Yeah, because like I said before, I'd have been happy with the switch. Are you or kidding with the me? Port. Yeah, just, just, I just want Smash Brothers. Give me a port. Uh, yeah, they just said, you know, what? we're just gonna do a fucking port of Brawl. Okay, fuck and it. And then dude. add a bunch of characters. Yeah, cool. all right, fuck it, dude. Why not? I would have been okay with that, but the fact that they are rebuilding it from the ground up, they're they're making it's all rebuilt from the ground up for for all the new mm-hmm. engine shit they put in. Um, Nine hundred Fire Emblem characters. <laughs> yeah, you know that, that that's a nine hundred little... Legend of Zelda characters. <laughs> There's three links. All three links are back. All three links. Yeah, yep. Young Link, Toon Link, and a Link Link. So here's here's a few questions <laughs> I have for it. Is, uh, they showed that Sheik and Zelda are separate. Yes. For sure. Yes. Um, Which, by the way, somebody in uh, the... the I, I watched Jim Sterling's stream in Nintendo Direct. That's how I watched it. Right. Uh, I had the same disappointment he did that it's not Zelda from um, uh, the Hyrule, Hy- Hyrule Warriors. Because she was fucking awesome in that game. Yeah, they chose it's, to go with the Zelda from Link Between Worlds. Oh, I don't mean the look. I mean, like, she had, like, a rapier and, it, like, oh, I, get I wish they changed her character completely. Right. But uh, they went, the you know, they're going with the reason why they did, though, is because that's not canon. Hyrule Warriors yeah. isn't canon. Oh, I know so, that. I mean, but, I mean, they I mean, still, that it, canon doesn't really matter with Smash it, Brothers. It, it, it kind of does. Kind of does. I mean, it 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 sort of does in the sense that I they, mean they only typically it's use a game. <laughs> they only so typically they use it. canon characters, and that particular incarnation of Zelda isn't canon. Although I completely agree with you, I think that actually I think it is canon now. No, it's... no, Hyrule Warriors is not canon at all. Nah, I mean, I think the I characters would, themselves. I would existing, argue the story is probably now canon. It's probably in the Zelda timeline now. I doubt it's in Hyrule Historia. No, because it came out after Hyrule's story. <clears throat> but either way, that doesn't matter. I just would like to see a more I, interesting... I, Zelda always was kind of a kind of meh character to me in Smash. Hold up. No, no. We get, we're we not done here. What the... What do you... How, why do you think that's canon? I just want to know. Because there's a whole story. There's a whole story Well, yeah, but the story wasn't... The revival of The story Ganondorf was just invented for the game, though. Sure, but that's every I mean, Zelda Fire game. Emblem, the story is Fire invented Emblem, for the game. Fire Emblem Warriors isn't canon either. Yeah, but that's like a... Yeah, sure, but as far as canon goes to Zelda, canon doesn't matter. Every new game completely wipes away everything that happened before. Well, Breath of the Wild the, definitely it, wipes away everything. Yeah, because well, and that one I would argue is one of the only ones that acknowledges what came before because right. that land technically still exists. Right. But I mean, every like I still say, um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Breath of the Wild for sure. Is like there's nothing that resembles Zelda in Breath of the Wild. No, it's just the, from before. The That's why castle. I would say going forward, it would not surprise me if they said, "Yeah, that sure that happened." Whatever. The only, the, my my big argument against it is it's not a Nintendo game. 
Oh, okay. Well, then that makes sense. I didn't think about. It. Well, then again, it's only licensed. Cap isn't a Nintendo game. It's only licensed by Nintendo. No, that was a collaboration between Capcom and Nintendo, just like the Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons were. Well, uh, but I mean, not Capcom. A smaller studio made that. Well, yeah, but they. It was a matter of I think it's like Retro Studios with them, yeah. where there was like a partnership there. This is whoever makes Warriors games, uh, yeah. Koei Tecmo, Koei Tecmo. Or whatever. They licensed. Same thing with Fire Emblem Warriors, yeah. where the characters were licensed, the property was that, licensed. That argument makes it better. Also, the argument of that they take and go through universes, mm-hmm. that you could kind of argue. But, I mean, they have the I, base story I, from Zelda. My thing is... If there's a reason to not have her in there, that, to me, is, like, not a good enough reason. Right. Especially when you have fucking, like, Dark Pit and I, I, well, the copy characters. I, it could be that it's just, like, it could be that she's in an alternate costume. Oh, true. Like I said, my uh, main I, thing is her, I'd like to see her with her rapier and shit. Yeah, yeah that with would be more. I think that ability. I think that would give her a wider, a, a better move set. Yeah, honestly, and I, would make her more like she's not a bad character. I've been when I when a she's powerful. I I don't care for her in Smash Four. Yeah, in Melee I liked her because she could switch to she. Right, I like well, that aspect of her. I like that only, it felt like playing two different characters. Not only once. that, but she actually is powerful enough on her own. Too. Yeah. Like in melee, and I feel like they nerfed her in four. A yeah, maybe bit, a little bit. A little know. bit, not, not 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 much, but also four is different enough from melee because yeah. we've already discussed melee's mechanics. I mean, that's why melee's mechanics are, are amazing. Actually, the reason I brought that up though yes. was when you're talking about they brought back all those characters. Yeah, I don't. Did they show Charizard set? But from no, Pokemon no, Charizard's trainer? part of the Pokemon, Pokemon trainer. Okay, but so technically but, they didn't bring no characters. Yeah, I mean, they kind of. Well, it, no, they he's did. He's the one that I was curious about. Well, they did in the sense that um, with Pokemon Trainer before you had to continually swap between the Pokemon because it was like a. Did stamina they say you thing. don't have to? This you don't time? have to this time. Okay, that's so. Cool. So you could choose to play as Charizard and just stay as Charizard. Just stay as Charizard. I guess right. that's a way they get around. So I that. mean. I still agree with you though. It's yeah. kind of it's kind of like yeah. Because Samus he's not and Zero Suit Samus are apparently two separate characters. Yeah, they are. Which like, is cool. They totally are, and they totally should be because they're completely oh, yeah. like she has completely different moves. Just like Zelda and Sheik, where they they did make that character. They made Sheik more interesting to me when they separated her from Zelda. Yeah, I mean, because because it, it now now it's like oh well she matters. Yeah, I guess technically Sheik's a male. I don't think so. I don't know. Like no, no, yeah. In fact, no. I, Sheik's I think, Zelda in drag. I know that, but Sheik is a male character as Sheik. Like in in the Zelda timeline, they identify Sheik as he. Because at the time, you don't know who Sheik is. Okay, it's well, we're it's, getting it's, into Sheik identifies as a male. Fine, you can say that. I think I think she's got titties. Well, no, she doesn't. Just cover it up. I don't care either way. Uh, um, there's some magic involved there because Zelda is a ma- has magic and shit. She, yeah, she's and a fine. super powerful magic user. Yeah, I mean that's one of her bases. I mean that, that's that's shown in, in so many of her games though that she is that power. Yeah. Uh, she's that powerful. Like re- she really is. She's easily one of the most powerful Zelda characters. Period. Which she should be. Her and fucking name's in the title. Always useless and gets captured. Yeah, Except I in Hyrule Warriors. That's why I like that Zelda. But I mean she doesn't get captured in Breath of the Wild technically. Yeah, she does. No, she oh, doesn't. No, 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 she doesn't. She stays there to she, hold the she, darkness yeah, back. Yeah, she, she puts The whole back. world still fucks. She didn't do a good job. <laughs> I mean, she can't hold it back completely, but she does keep the shitty pig fuck from leaving. Yeah. So, I mean, she may not be able to completely... It's a dark fucking Zelda game. It is. It's, it's almost as dark as Majora's Mask. In fact, yeah. I'm not sure... I'm, I think Breath of the Wild Twilight might Princess. be darker. Uh, in some aspects. In some aspects, yeah. I mean, uh, story-wise, though, Majora's Mask blows it away. Because Majora's Mask goes so much deeper in it. Oh, because Majora's Mask is, like, completely different, too. You're not going to rescue the princess or anything like that. No, it's and princess yeah. has nothing to do with uh, that Twilight one. Princess was pretty dark in its way, too. Where she's, like, <laughs> fucking depressed and suicidal the whole goddamn game. So back to Smash. Because <laughs> we're doing that thing again. Yeah, we always do. Um... Oh, dude. Oh, hey, you know, I'm just... They Pichu's brought back, back all the characters. Pichu's back. I'm trying to think of a character other than Snake, and I don't like playing as Snake, 
but I like him being in the games. <laughs> None of the characters, Mewtwo, I'm really excited to see come back. I I mean, Mewtwo was my dude in, in Melee. Yeah. Like, they, they they brought him out of Brawl because a lot of people didn't like him. I fucking loved him. Like, yeah, he was super yeah, light. Yeah, I thought he was... He was super light, but you could hit really hard with him. He yeah. had he had a, an amazing back throw. He had a Shadow Ball, which if you time that right, if anyone's getting thrown up in the air, you time that right, hit him, you're fucking launching yeah. him. And uh, he also had a, a mid air like swipe down that was almost always launched yeah like it was really power it hit like for like 10 15 percent damage and it always launched like i i was really good with Mewtwo. yeah like, back Mewtwo then. was fun but i i do agree that but there are a lot of the criticisms he was really like he's real easy to knock away which whatever i think they pretty much went we're gonna not bother with worrying about fighter let make sure they probably want to make them all balanced but they're not worried about who people play and who people like they just went just fucking get them all in just get them all which i'm i'm really really happy for at the same time i'm a little disappointed we don't get to go through that oh my god who's gonna come next sakurai who's the next character you're gonna announce who's gonna be confirmed where's captain falcon give me fucking captain. you got falcon this time and yeah immediately i know yes, captain falcon's dude. in it and yes. i'm so happy i mean he's in dude, all of them so Cat- yeah, I wasn't afraid, but right, but yeah, but you know he's there. Yeah, you, you, you don't have to sit there and think. Are they the, gonna yeah, cut him they this don't. Time? They don't have. To, you don't have to do that. And like we said, I like that. I like that they characters. brought Ganondorf back and gave him. I like, gave him his swords now. So like his he's smash one attacks. Of, yeah, his smash attacks. He smash, pulls the sword. Which he pulls. Is cool. He pulls those big old. Da- those big old fucking great sword down. Just smacks people. I like. I like a lot of the changes they are making. Like a lot of them are cosmetic and it's silly. But they brought the ice climbers back. So there you go. Hey, ice climbers. Uh, I just can't wait. I I love that they showed like Kirby has a hundred different forms because there's so many fucking characters. There's there's 66 <laughs> confirmed characters right now. Yeah. I mean... 66 Kirbys. I, I still have some hope that there's a few characters they're not quite revealing yet. Oh, I think there's definitely going to be some more... Co- I would... I really expect there to be because there's only one new character. Oh, uh, well, technically two. But Squidling and uh, Daisy. Knew, I mean, we knew Daisy, yeah. Uh, and we knew the Squidling because that was the reveal. Right, and then, of course, Daisy makes sense because, I mean, she's she's always been in the game, at least, I think, since As an Brawl. alternate. Yeah, as, as an yeah. alternate costume for Peach. Um, but, uh, of course, there is the one new character, brand new character, that we never thought we'd be able to get, and that is Ridley. Oh, yeah, I forgot they announced Ridley. When did they see... Uh, That's been a thing. Like people have wanted him since I think at least Melee. Did they do that? Because I didn't see that in the direct. Yeah, it wasn't the direct. Oh, I must have cut it off early then. Yeah, because no, I didn't was, see anything was, about Ridley. I mean, the entire thing was twenty five minutes. I forgot and, Ridley was. Dude, they they uh, Sakurai and uh, and all, like the guys that were sitting there in the beginning actually did gameplay. Yeah, and they showed how Ridley worked. And, That's cool. and and everything. It was really fun. And he has this he has this move where he stabs you with his tail, and if you time it just right just like 50 percent damage ah that's crazy it hits so fucking hard but you gotta time it just right you gotta uh, maybe not a timing but there's like a sweet spot where you execute the move and when you do it right it just boom 50 percent damage fucking instantly insane. just in- plus on top of the damage it normally does which is mm-hmm. 10 to 15 percent yeah so it's like you can instantly hit somebody with 65 percent damage right at the beginning of the match if you can time it right yeah it's like That's holy cool. fuck, and he 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 plays pretty well. And I mean, from what I was watching, he seems a little more unique in his move set than any of the others. He doesn't feel he didn't look as if he was a clone of another character. No, no, like he's the, definitely an original. Like the closest that I could maybe see to him, just because of some of the other things he's able to do, like the flying and shit, maybe be like Kirby or Pit. Yeah. Just because they, you know, they can fly. The fact that they're bringing back Palutena, I think I'm pretty excited for. I liked Palutena. Um, the DLC characters coming back. Like, yeah, I mean, we Cloud mentioned a couple and of them, Cloud, Bayonetta, Roy, Roy Ryu. Ryu. Yeah, Ryu's coming back. Like, Roy was a DLC character? Yeah. Oh. I see. I, I did, didn't bother with any of the DLC. I game. bought Cloud and I bought Mewtwo. Yeah. Uh, because but, I, I mean, Mewtwo. I, I mean, we just. No, went you into said it. you liked him. I loved him. I really Melee. can't wait to play as Ryu. It's one of the things that I really wish <laughs> I would have gotten to play on the Wii U version, right? Because um, hey, I thought adding Ryu, can. Ryu, and and um, Ban. Well, I'm not gonna buy it now, <laughs> but Bayonetta as well. Because I love the Bayonetta games. Both of those characters really, really interest me in seeing them in Smash. I mean, apparently Bayonetta's top tier too. Yeah. Like she, her and Cloud are top tier. She characters. should be. She's nasty. Yeah. Quick. 
uh, like in, in like in her combo game. combo heavy. And yeah. Shit oh like yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she you know and Cloud honestly I got to give him props man. I mean I only play on a 3ds so he might mm. perform a little bit but he he quickly became my main once I downloaded him because yeah. he like is he just hit he hits hard he hits fast he can dodge he can do all his limit breaks and like mm -hmm. the limit breaks are cool as shit man finishing touch if you hit that on like 60 percent or more you're knocking that person out yeah. period like there's no there's no stopping it that's cool so i mean Fucking ike ike comes back i ike, loved ike yes ike uh, he's slow but he's big and powerful mm -hmm. and that's all he needs to be it's one of my favorite characters to play in uh fucking melee I think uh, Ike was in Melee. No, that was Brawl, I think. Brawl? I don't think, I don't um, think Ike was in Whichever one they Melee. added. Whichever one they added him, yeah, he was, was fucking nasty powerful. That was powerful. Brawl. I don't, think, I don't think he was in Melee. Yeah. Like, I, dude, I, honestly, though, I'm, I'm, I, I like the changes they've made the Ganon, some of, like, the, the cosmetic changes. You see his nose? He has it's the back nose. to the N64 Ganon. Yeah, he has his nose. Giant schnoz. That dead big-ass, like, six-inch pointy nose. Like, You know what would be really interesting is if one of his alternate costumes is the Wind Waker-looking Ganon. That would be cool. That would be really yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be down for I that. I mean, if that ends up being a character later on, that would be cool. I mean, like I said, I... Because you've got when you've got Toon Link. Yeah, you fucking Toon Link. Yeah. I hate Toon Link. I didn't... I you know. hate playing as Toon Link, but when they showed Toon Link, Young Link, and Link in the uh, green with the brown hair instead yeah. of blonde, they all look so... Like, like so good. Just look so fucking amazing. If they wanted the to be accurate... The they this game is beautiful if they wanted to be accurate they'd have to include a costume where link's hair is also pink because yeah, the in original link, yeah in, no in, in link's in, in the past, past. He, yeah. his hair was pink and or pinkish red yeah because so they because wasn't it something with the, they couldn't render yeah like they couldn't produce the exact color they would use for some <laughs> so reason they just went with like a pinkish color yeah, they just whatever that's, fuck it fuck it yeah i didn't get, i didn't you know the but it was brown in the book in here's, the guide. Here's the thing, though. Okay, I got I got to say this, mm -hmm. and I've been playing video games since that game was brand fucking new. Since Link to the Past, new, new, I remember getting it. My dad bringing it home like two days after it released. I didn't even notice his hair was pink until like two months ago when someone else pointed it out on Reddit. <laughs> so like, it's 2018 now. That yeah. game released 1991 or 92. <laughs> We're talking over 20 years, 26, 27 years before I noticed his fucking hair is pink. I still remember the first time I saw the images, like I'd see video from the cartoon, mm. and he had the brown hair. Yeah. And I was like, Link's hair's not fucking brown. No, it's blonde. Link's blonde. What the yeah. fuck is this shit? Yeah. This is ugly as shit. It's terrible. <laughs> it's, but that's almost what this that that alternate costume looks like is like the TV, like the cartoon. Here's, some, here's something <laughs> stupid. So good. Here's something stupid that I hope they do put in, though, since they mm. got Link in his champion tunic. I kind of hope that even though they chose not to include, not to base Zelda on Breath of the Wild, I hope they have Breath of the Wilds. No, uh, I was saying that costume. too. Zelda needs some alternate costumes. Yeah. I would really love to see Twilight Princess, even though it is just dark and depressing. Just the darker tone to it would look it's really the cool. The more adult tone. Yeah. Or, yeah. And the Breath of the Wild is completely different Zelda. Yeah. I, that's, I mean, like in, in Hyrule yeah. Warriors, like you were mentioning, I actually used that alternate costume for mm -hmm. Zelda just because it's different from her normal gown that she yeah. has on and I, I i actually like the look like it's it's just it's a travel she a, looks more uh, she looks more like a fighter in that yeah she definitely <clears throat> looks more like someone who's gonna do something right a researcher a fighter an adventurer whatever you want to say definitely, she's not she a definitely, fucking useless princess she definitely has like the adventurer look yes like like she dead which is the what she was which in is the what, history yeah, yeah and that's what she should be like yeah. that's that's how i think she really should look i like, don't get me wrong i love her gowns and her dresses because she's always dressed that way so i'm, I'm like yeah that's cool that's all that's like princess's dress is not something you want to be fighting in right exactly yeah. and that's why i'm hoping that that even if it's not available right away, maybe you unlock mm -hmm. it later down the line. Maybe you got to buy it with the coins you get from fighting matches. Which, by the way, I have I like think... forty thousand coins on the oh, Switch. You know, they the could, I hope I don't even know what you use them for. It's just buying the trophies. Oh, is that really? I oh, that so. is it. Yeah. yeah. But um, I think that would be interesting. I mean, even if even if they're just unlocked from the beginning, that's fine. And if this like they started it with brawl, where they started having the alternates looking quite like more and more different yeah instead of just being color swaps yeah like and like, then um, with well, the koopalings they had all the different koopalings yeah as, a, as an alternate to bowser jr so like, i think yeah. i think there's gonna be a lot of characters that have severely different alternate outfits 
I mean, and like I said, I, I would because they should. Mario has the fucking Odyssey outfits. Yeah, that's, I mean that would it's great. Fucking a, dude! Like I'd love to, I'd love to fight as Mario in the Kappa, the Kappa, a uh, 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 fucking suit you get. You know the top. Oh, the top. It, he, it the is per- in there. The they purple, and, the purple and yellow, the outlandishly purple and yellow uh, suit you can buy in like oh, the second one. Oh, I didn't one. see that one. That one's good too. Or the tuxedo. They have the get, tuxedo, yeah. Yeah, that you get in the uh, hat world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, uh, like that looks awesome. That's, that's like totally the, a thing. They, they have the builder Mario for some reason. <laughs> Mario oh, Maker, why fuck it, why not? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a big, important game, which Can I hope. Be like, um, you know what? That's a game I hope makes it to Switch. Mario Maker? Yeah, Mario Maker. Because, I mean, they. Oh, God. That, I, they put it on. For some reason, I was like, that has to be on the Switch already. No, it? it's on it's 3DS. Not, no, yeah, it was on the. It's on 3DS. Wii U. It's on the Wii U, but it hasn't made it. I hope it makes it to Switch. Yeah. That's a game. Like that, because the Switch is totally my second chance system. It's totally yeah. the system that where like I give other games I wouldn't have given a chance a chance, like Fortnite, because I download it Fortnite and I'll play it eventually. It's like, yeah, no, I want uh, I want Mario Maker to come to Switch because it yeah. already has the the high grade touch screen. Like, fuck it, let's let's make yeah, Mario. why not? I mean, it's I, it's a console that is perfect for all that stuff. Yeah, I would think that the, probably the only reason it hasn't yet is because there's so much shit they're working on. That's true. It's and and that's understandable to me. There's a lot of stuff I want on the Switch that I'm like, get it the fuck out. A lot of the classic games, but when you start thinking about how much stuff they are making I mean, they for got, it, they got. I mean, they got Smash Bros. They got yeah. a very large, a huge chunk of the game done. I I, I hope that at some point before before we get the full game, they drop the E3 demo. Yeah, like that would be. I just want to play something. I, exactly. Just let me play as like six different characters on four stages. Whatever. Just give me give me a taste. Eight eight player battles look fucking crazy, dude. We're gonna have to do that. That looks so much I, fun. The thing is, are we gonna find eight people to play? <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, mentioning that real quick. Yeah, um, Mario Party. This is getting Super a new Mario release. Party. Super Mario yeah. Party. We didn't mention that. Looks fun. Um, I I think they're overestimating the amount of people who are going to take their switches to bars and I got I mean to yeah play together for and, sure like, for put sure put them next to each. I mean that's definitely that's definitely a game we're going to be playing out in this living room. Exactly. Right? We're exactly. going to be playing it like in your basement or something. That's not a game we're going to go out to a restaurant or like I don't a know TGI. Could you imagine? Still could you imagine our stupid asses <laughs> yeah, going to a free TGI Friday and setting our switch like up? sitting the Mario servers Party. handing them controllers? You will play Mario Party too. <laughs> <laughs> The sad part is it might it might actually happen. People are coming over and having a good time. I mean, that's just all that like matters. Nintendo thinks it would happen. I mean, you never know. The one thing I, I did tell you like, what, we should try it when you take maybe. I did like that you could take two switches, set them up, and have two people on each side. Yeah, that's and play cool. against each other, and they have different that perspectives too. Like, yeah, like, yeah, they don't have the same the same top down perspective that the other games have. They each have their own point of view. Yeah, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, and that's another game that for me, like Smash Bros. I've already said that's an automatic oh, yeah. buy. I, there's no question. I, I'm going to buy it. Plus any DLC they may plan to drop. Yeah. If they do, which we you know, I would calling it Smash Bros. Ultimate, they might not drop. Any I DLC. will. I would buy it immediately. Buy a season pass for it. However, I would feel a little ripped off from right. Nintendo if they did that because. It's Smash Brothers. It's a game where you have all these characters, and unless you are planning on, hey, we're legitimately going to make new characters, we just haven't decided who yet. Right. Here's the game. We'll come up with new shit later. Then fine. You do that, fine. But anytime you have a fighting game, it never feels genuine. Anytime all of these games that have come from um, fucking... uh, uh, the Street Fighter, or not Street Fighter, well, Street Fighter as well. Capcom, yeah, no, Street Fighter Five with their, their on-disc DLC, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the, like from all the stuff um, from the guys who made Mortal, uh, the the uh, Nether Realms, all of their games, all the shit in the uh, Justice, uh, right, right. Injustice games, all of that shit, you know those characters are done before the DLC comes out. Absolutely. All of that shit is either in plans or is soon to be done, and they're just selling it to you again yeah. for more money after yeah. selling you a six dollar game. It's fucking bullshit. Right. So it would vary. I would probably pay for it, like I said, because it's more Smash Brothers. But I'd feel really fucking ripped off, which is the way I felt about it on the Wii U. I didn't like the fact that they came out with those characters. I mean, as although, DLC. although to be fair, 
they did it the exact way you said they would do it. Yeah. Because they released characters based on how many votes each thing's got and what sort of licensing deals they could work out. Yeah, it didn't feel like they already had these done. Right. So, I mean, mm. so to be fair, that is exactly the way they did it. Because, I mean, yeah. you know, Cloud is the first one that comes to mind for me because he's not a Nintendo character in any way, shape, or form. Never been on a console before. Never been on Nintendo before, yeah. Um and then, of course, Ryu, would th- although that one was a little different because he had been on Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, Bayonetta, uh, uh, Lucas from you know, Mother 3. Somebody pointed out. Um, Roy from Fire Emblem. But they, these I characters think, weren't done. I think we're going to see either when the game comes out or, mm-hmm. oh well, I think characters that are going to be added to it, uh, Ubisoft characters. Oh, yeah, I think Rayman. we're going to see. I can see Rayman pop up. Rayman, I, I think we're going to prob- maybe see the Rabbids as a character, maybe Please a triple not. character thing. Please no. Well, because Nintendo's doing so much with Ubisoft lately. Between the Rabbids games, um, there something else recently is the, the Star, the the, the, the yeah. Star Fox uh, clone we were just looking at, which yeah. looks kind of cool. It has Star Fox in it, and it's being made by Ubisoft. What's the name of that game? Star something, Star Shooter, Star blah blah. Star cock tease, who knows? <laughs> Starlink. Starlink, yeah. It's a dumb name. But the game looks fun. But yeah, I, I would think that I mean what if wouldn't it be fucking crazy if you got like Ezio or one of the Assassin's Creed characters? That'd be awesome. That would be so that would be mind blowing. And you know and what? It's, so it's, good. it's not outside the realm of possibility. No, you, you got fucking snake. snake. Yeah, we have solid snake in the game. Like... Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, guys. You know, we should it. probably wind that down a bit. Yeah, I right? think before, we can. Before we get uh, into like a two-hour episode. All right, guys. That was our E3 footage. Our E3 coverage. talk. There There's a much. lot of other games we didn't even get to, but eh, whatever. We don't, probably... There's a Fire Emblem coming out on the Switch, and I'm so happy. Yeah, but it's not until 2019. Yeah, so. the end of 2019. No, no, I think it's supposed to be the end of... Uh, it's supposed to be oh, it's quarter. to be announced. Yeah, no, it's to be announced, but yeah. I don't think it's the end of 2019. It could be, though, but that's, I mean, that still gives them so long to work on it. Um, yeah, either I way, mean, it's coming out. Hey, I'm just happy, guys. I finally got Hollow Knight on Switch, and I'm, I'm happy again, so there you go. Yep. All right, guys, for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Check us out on uh, Twitter and all the other places we are. Yay. Facebook, Patreon. Yeah, give us What money. is our Patreon link? Patreon.com backslash Ungodly Geeks? Pretty much. Yeah, we should tell people links. I mean, all links are always included. Yeah, but you say it, and it means more, I think. I don't know. All right, guys. Either way, see y'all later. Have a good day.